Hello all and welcome back. Today we are going to create this beautiful intro animation in PowerPoint. Let's get started. First enable the guides. Go to insert tab and draw rectangle with height equal to slide height. Align it centrally to the slide and make it no outline. Now duplicate this rectangle using Ctrl plus D and place it with small gap between both rectangles. Press Ctrl plus D to create two more duplicates with same gaps between. Now select last three rectangles and drag them holding down Ctrl key to create duplicates. Align all the rectangles as shown. Select all the rectangles and distribute them horizontally just to make sure they are equally spaced. Change the solid fill color of all rectangles using color palettes. Next we will create painting brush shape. For that, go to insert tab and draw rectangle shape. Make it no outline and adjust its height. Format this rectangle with 3 step linear gradient and change the stop colors with light shade of color in the middle and dark shade of colors on either side. Next go to insert tab and draw another small rectangle as shown. Make it no outline and change its fill color to dark gray. Place this shape on the right side of previous rectangle shape so that it appears like a handle for the brush. Duplicate this shape using Ctrl plus D and increase its height. Rotate and align both the small rectangles as shown. Create another duplicate using Ctrl plus D and align all three small rectangles as shown. Next go to insert tab and draw top corner rounded rectangle shape. Increase its roundness, make it no outline, and fill it with dark grey color. Flip it vertically, and place it along the small rectangles as shown. Now union all these dark color shapes, and that creates brush handle shape. Now group this handle shape with small rectangle, and apply outer shadow effect. Remove the transparency and slightly increase the blur value. Now place your text on each of these rectangle shapes as shown. Make sure your each character has individual text fields and are placed above the horizontal guide.
Now select all these rectangle shapes and duplicate them using Ctrl plus D. Let's change their fill color to dark gray and align them over original rectangle shapes. Now change their fill color to white and make sure the original rectangles are not visible. Swap their fill color back again to dark gray. Next align the brush shape on top edge of this first rectangle and make sure it perfectly fits between the rectangle width. Create duplicates of this brush shape using Ctrl plus D and place them on each of these rectangles. Let's quickly change the gradient colors of all brush shapes. Now these are the important steps. Select all dark color rectangle shapes and change their fill color to white. Group each white rectangle with its brush shape so that they can be animated together. Select all this group of shapes and apply line motion path animation. Adjust the endpoints of all these animations at different heights as shown. Just make sure all the brush shapes are below the horizontal guide. Finally go to effect options and add bounce effect of 1.2 seconds. So here is the final preview. Hope you all liked it. Please don't forget to like, share and comment.